Hi, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to part two of the corroded docks into the depth. Uh, uh sorry, yeah, into the de into the pit, <laughs> not into the depth. Weird, it's like it's depth ranked four. Pat, you think it'd be pit level four or something? Anyways, a little complicated. Regardless, this, my friends, is one of the best runs we've ever had. The last, the last run specifically was a little bit of a slog. Uh, we kind of bit the dust running <laughs> at that point. We didn't get a lot of good stuff, but this run, my dude, just in case you missed it. And we got double needle, we got the ability to hyper spread effects, and we got um, bleed, and we got vampire, which allows us to heal. Um, and we got, uh, we also got slow times three, so enemies are basically stopped in their tracks. So, so that's amazing, and when we kill an enemy, again, it spreads to a massive amount of enemies. Um, as well as we have haste level one, meaning we can juke just about everybody, and we got grim reaper, uh, or grim, yeah, grim reaper, which allows us to heal. And also we got, again, Vampire, uh, and then we got the ability to pierce through enemies on our left hand, and just more damage scaling on our left hand. Just a really, really good run, as well as various healing uh, buffs applied. Uh, so just needless to say, we're killing it, baby. We're cooking. <laughs> we are cook cooking. All right, so for since the last video, I did get up, stretch my legs out, so let's hope I don't just bite the dust. So again, instead of going for this one, we will be going for Luck, because uh, Luck is always the one I think you should go for first. We should always honestly get the other ones, but it's not like we couldn't get here, I think, again. Want to make sure that nothing is gonna push in. That's something I might have heard something. We're good. Look at that range, baby. How can you deny that range? We just blew up a nest. Those little fuckers are gonna be pissed. Here we go, moving forward. Ra -pa 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 -pa. Slow is so good. So, so damn good. If we were low on health, we could hit the maggots and massively heal, but we are cooking, so <laughs> we are good to go. Have you guys ever cooked before? Feels great. <laughs> okay, just immaculate, all that. Again, with how many we're outputting right now, we really need needles. We really need to, like, charge. If I could get a fire rate one, which, by the way, fire rate, I do believe, increases your fire rate and your capacity for energy, which is amazing. So capacity is huge. <laughs> the ability for you to hold down your things at full pack, full capacity is a very nice thing. We also got all of the modes of luck. Um, and I'm feeling it right now, baby. We're flowing like butter. Let's go ahead and get some more powers. I can't believe we can get even more powers. Also, we could get the maximum amount of spread so the range of spreading a uh, bleed and all that will be astonishingly high but how can i pass up the ability for just to shred with damage uh, i can't is the question but this would be very good and i would imagine would like cover the circumference of the map uh in terms of spreading uh your poison effects but anyways can't pass up damage especially when there could be a boss that is just bullshit <laughs> i don't know the bosses have been pretty reasonable as of late oh interesting this is my first one of these. Is this like a boss or is this just a level? Weird. I'd have never seen that before. A little freak me out a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll have to go get that one, but not before we get luck in the villager. Just to get the best possible outcome for our abilities and perks and such. Gotta make sure there's no bullshit with me <laughs> right now. Also, I don't know what those stones do. I think they're bad. <laughs> That's all I know. Also, this is a big ass level. Yep, I knew it. I knew there would be an enemy behind me. We got a little bit of damage there. I actually hurt quite a bit, but we should be able to regenerate past a good bit of it. I didn't even know this was here, this little jumpy pad. Come on! This one heals me. So we're just gonna try to heal up with that. We're getting some health. It's getting close. Back to I think we're back at 90 now. When you have 90% of your HP, I get bonuses. Specifically 60% bonus, which is actually a little rel crazy, honestly. A little excessive and all that. But let's go over here into the last room. Um, I do think shit's gonna spawn in. 
Because it always tends to do that. Yep. There we go. Is that it? So all the baddies here? Bang! So now we just got complete and utter peak profit, baby. Come on. Uh, projectiles from your right hand have an incredible range. In fact, a silly range. I don't think we need any more range to tell you the truth, but this is the perfect time uh, to roll the dice again. Despite Grim Reaper being very good, um, I would much rather see if we can get an, like more of a certain thing. And also, we have so much of the other one that we might as well do that. Ah, I guess we'll get maxed out slow, even though I think that is a bad choice. Um, it's probably actually more efficient to get blood. Um... But it's also too good to just like literally stop and honestly 30% mo decrease to movement speed with our haste is It's not a good choice, <laughs> but it's maxed out <laughs> So I'm like maybe maybe uh, Yeah, it's not smart. It's way smarter to go with the bleed. Yeah, let's just stop people in their tracks I can't help it. Okay, how can you help just being like boom? You're stopped completely boom if you could increase the effect or duration of that actually being like a thing applied to people huge huge also yeah okay I was about to say oh wait is it just one it's still just one oh no this would be the second and then the final room will be the third right okay. I followed the elder man down here uh, because of the riches he claimed would be uncovered but uh, when he vanished I am trapped in this ho uh, hovel could you possibly see fit to destroy the keystone I'm about to say man do I, where's your magic every single time you delve deeper do you not get the money or do you does he like does he get all the business all the money I don't know. Regardless, I think we're close. Let's see. In inventory. Uh, we are uh, eight. We have eight. We can now upgrade our runes, which I think is, or is it nine? It might be nine. <laughs> Regardless. Um, oh, but it will replace our slow, but it gets a lot of bleed. No, because our slow is maxed out. But we can still reroll. Um, project, oh no, when you're low health, no. No, 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 no. Reroll. Yeah, yikes. When you are bleeding, your damage is increased. I don't know how to bleed myself. I guess you could use the, the AoE attack thing to apply that to yourself but but I don't want projectiles from your left hand do increase damage when you're under health no leave me be um, blood eater I wish we could do that when you're bleeding I'm not bleeding though so we're just gonna reroll again this is our last reroll money okay um, awful <laughs> we do not get plus three in any regard it feels bad but we did get a vampire uh, increase which is the only one here in my opinion worth it um, good good good, good. Okay, we have one more room to go. Um, I guess we're trying this one. I've never tried this. Is this just a bonus boss? Because this is what you get from completing boss rooms. So I wonder if this is the Chamber of Insight, if it's just going to be insight emotes, or if it's going to be a boss. Oh, no, this is just a bonus boss, I think. Right? Oh, no. I didn't expect that would be... This seems huge. <laughs> this feels like we're fighting a fucking boss. I like it. It seems quite cool. And again, the ability to slow people and basically say, stop it. Oh, oh, just like that. It's pretty wild. Quite good. Again, I hate those things because I don't like it. It's in a game where accuracy is seemingly just kind of like an afterthought. Um, yeah. Weird play. Simply put, weird play. Um, I guess we just dropping down into this nightmare. Nothing's below me, right? We're good. Well, now stuff's below me. Good, good to go. Oh, we almost got stuck there. We're good. Okay, I thought there was something behind me. Oh, there is. Not quite behind me, but you get the point. Yeah, even slow allows me to like step, uh, like get behind them. Slow is so good. Slow and bleeders. This is like the, in my opinion, one of the best combos I've heard in the game, uh, and I can just completely see why. Also, we deal a good bit of damage now too. Did I miss anything? I just want to, don't want to miss Insight, because Insight's actually really good for uh, upgrading yourself. Although, I think you can just run a bunch of boss levels and be okay. Um, but yes, Insight is how you level up your runes at Endgame. Just want to make sure we're okay. Oh, my first hit! Oh, now we're no longer getting our, a stupid high damage buff, which is why our damage has just completely hit the ground. I don't know what you guys do. I guess you're just melee attackers. I 
I'm hitting them with my right hand because this is the one that I got lights life steal on. Sorry, buddy, just trying to life steal from you. It's, it's all it is. I know it's a slow death, <laughs> but it is what it's gonna have to be. All right, we got all the insight modes. So now I guess this is just a more interesting level. This is like, I feel like I'm gonna clip through something <laughs> and die. Hmm, interesting. Well, that was it. Um, <laughs> cool. We got all the modes, we killed all the enemies, came out of here with a little bit less health, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, those ones are like more larger than life levels, which is cool. Regardless, we have fire rate finally. We also have chaos seeds being maxed out. So every single time we kill something, there's a high, high chance of it. They're, they're dropping a, a chaos seed, essentially an explosive seed. But fire rate is also really, really good, especially with needle. It's like one of its only negatives. But this is also tier, this is plus three, which will fully max it out. I just am curious what this is at. It's plus three. So we're only really getting two levels from it, but still, it's still better than the other ones, I think, even though fire rate could be really, really good. Fuck it, we're getting more uh, ability to do that, even though this one, I think, is the one that actually has higher damage. But, ooh, unfortunately, we're going into this with just a little bit less health than I would like, because we, we have that 90% bonus of health. Which I think we're still in the threshold to get the bonus. But, enter the heart of the dungeon, or the depths, or the pit. Um, the beast's heart, or whatever. So, uh, this is the Corroded Docks Beast. I imagine him to be a gelatinous man, <laughs> looking like a, uh, with maybe a shell. Ooh, which might be actually a pain in the ass. Oh no, he's a squid thing. I met jellyfish. Ooh, it's very cool and very aesthetic and probably a nightmare to face, but uh, we got a little bit of haste. I think we should be good. Also, he's quite big. He's a juicy thing for sure. Also, he, he has a lot of bad. I should have paced this out more because yeah, enemy summoned in in a really brutal way. What the fuck snuck up on me? We're pretty low health. The bosses are getting slightly harder, even with this god level run. We need to regenerate our power. I should keep one of those alive. No, he continues to bring them alive. Never mind. Should definitely prioritize killing some of them or else we're gonna get overwhelmed. He's dead. We got him. Okay. That one, uh, yeah, I, I ended up backstepping uh, into them. It's not as simple as just strafe. You got eventually got to like pace out them to make sure that like, okay, they're all stacking up in the same way, you know? Uh, and it's probably better, especially with the amount of movement speed that I have to not constantly be in motion and to like run over here. I'm massively ahead of them. And especially with slow, I can just keep tapping them to do that. Uh, but no, we definitely, that could have been a lot harder if we didn't have such a stacked deck essentially. But anyways, more lore. Weird. I don't really understand. The story's kind of weird. I hope there's a synopsis of what the heck it all means, but probably just as vague and weird as indie games tend to be. Um, Lost Villager. Uh, I follow the Alderman down here because of the riches and the claimed. Um, we read this. Could you possibly remove the keys? Yeah. He's like, yeah, this fucking guy lied to my ass. <laughs> Got it. Insight, baby. It's only like four. Not very good, honestly. You're just, you, know, you get just as much insight from just denying certain floors that offer insight, which is 
Kind of a bullshit. Anyways, hey, Alderman, come meet your end fool. I guess you're my cousin or whomever I'm following. I, who cares? It's <laughs> crazy people all around us. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that was an absolutely godly run. Uh, just luck. Um, I honestly... <laughs> I play a little bit more cautiously, but we were had so much healing, we had so many things that I kind of just said fuck it and started playing hyper aggressively because we had like Grim Grim Reaper, we had the ability to spread our powers, we also had bleed, we also had uh, va vampires so we could heal like crazy, we also had pretty good damage modifiers, um, and we just slapped shit. Also, because of that, we had like, you could, uh, above 90% health, you deal more damage. Although I will say, man, is Needle's amazing. I don't know if doubling up is the best. Probably good, probably is, but I don't know. I feel like you still want those like that that ability just to delete something really fast, like hit someone thing with like a shotgun blast and just cook them dead. But um, not not shotgun by the way. I haven't gotten used to shotgun. Apparently, shotgun is like one of the best end game type abilities, um, like casting abilities. Uh, but it's a little dicey. You need to be kind of up close, and I like to play safe and try to get to the end. You know. But, I do believe we can now use this. At last, with enough villagers returned, I feel. Practice this arcane art once again. I will improve the power of your runes, if you have the materials. Uh, what might I enchant for you, Outlander? How much do you cost? I only have 53. Um, but it doesn't, oh, but I need nine. Oh, thank God, I have just enough. <laughs> just enough to level it up. I don't know how much. Uh, I can boost the level, I think probably to plus 5, considering this goes all the way to 45. I feel like that comes in the jumps and the waves. But this is an easy choice, dude. Easy choice. First of all, yes. Do I want 2 health from collecting the thousands of moats along my journey? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, absolutely. <laughs> it's not a question. Anyways, do I want more health from keystones? Yes. 4 to 8? I, I, I only, honestly only really needed four, but that's double eight. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is huge. Um, so do I want 50% of the time I'm going to be able to generate more luck modes? That sounds pretty endearing. Um, what about things like brute or blood? Uh, yeah, be a three more chances to have uh, more chances of blood. Interesting. I mean, yeah, screw it. First of all, the first thing that I would rather have is, is greater chance of getting higher luck uh, so that we can always just accrue double the yield, essentially, which would be great. And then the last one we're going to upgrade is blood and strength. Even though strength to me, I find a little bit less because there's always those ones where it's like when you're nine, when you're about to die, you have so much uh, damage. And I'm like, how useless. <laughs> I mean, I guess there is like second wind, but still, stupid. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, let's go with this one, which is rune. Although, again, this can get better, I think. Like, 50% health? Okay, now, that's actually not a bad pickup. That's actually pretty, like, worth its salt, almost. Um, but alas, let's go with uh, orbs of power. I'm more likely to offer strength. Uh, and then we're gonna stop upgrading, because I don't know enough about, like, what I exactly like. And I haven't looked into, like, maybe brute is actually not the play, because if you have poison, and you get poison, and then you get another poison ability, just similar to vampire, when you eventually get bleed... Um, you'll eventually get this, like, overpowered as hell thing. I don't know. Uh, regardless, uh, that's awesome. We got a leveled up of things. I don't think, I think we already can have access to all of our runes. So we're just kind of coasting. Um, the key master, we're able to, uh, make, not, not yet. We have to do double first. So we have to do, I think, two more, uh, runs from, from doubling up, uh, our runes. Yo, 18 in order to get the merchant. I don't know what the merchant can offer you, though. Weird. Very weird. 18, 18 people. But ladies and gentlemen, this is our new loadout. <laughs> we're gonna go do this, and then we're gonna do this, and then we are going to go double he uh, healing from key uh, breaking runes, uh, double healing from moats, brutes, um, blood, and luck. Uh, and then last one, honestly, I probably should level up the healing one because that's kind of better than the than the healing a lot from your pools because. Honestly, at this point, keystones are going to be just chunking my health back. So it's going to be a matter of, like, overhealing being the problem. Um, in fact, you know, let's, let's, go do, let's go do that one. Let's go get some more health. 50% more health is actually worth, okay? 25? Boom. All those are leveled up. Boom, boom. This is what we're going to be doing next time. But ladies and gentlemen, so here's, my, here's the thing. I feel like... Uh, I want to give each level their time to shine. And giving the attention to each level that we've been doing has been a bit excessive. 
um, like, you know, it's like a 40 minute video, basically, with doubling parts. Uh, and I'd rather just make one part per level, I think. So I think what I'm going to do is right around, mm, maybe like the second or the third um, level is when we're going to start recording the level. And by that point, I should have enough to like get back into and explain to you guys what I, like if it's a good run, if it's a bad run, bleh, right? Uh, so I think I'll go about it that way in the future, just because especially now with like, there's 45 rescue villagers. We're only able to get three per tick, and that's har harmonizing both of them. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll go through the, the paces of this one, and I'll come back when I'm at least layer, like depth two. So I have my abilities, I have kind of what we're aiming for, I can rant to you guys about getting super unlucky or really overly lucky. But, we should be good. Should be okay, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Regardless, thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Cannot wait to play more of this game because it is an utter blast. Also, we stream every single day except Monday and Wednesday. Um, also, we stream on YouTube on weekends, or weekdays, sorry, and Twitch on weekends. Um, hopefully, I can see you there at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Would love to see you. Also, if you managed to engage with the video in any way, much love as always. Appreciate all the support. Thank you, and goodbye.